Among our specialties are books about printing, printing history, the technique of printing and basically everything to do with printing and books. The present work, the work that I'm presenting here, is Meyer's Journal voor Buchdruckerkunst, Schriftkiezerei und Verwandtenfächer. It was published by Meyer from 1834 onwards. Meyer, who was then 22 years old, came from an established printer's family and he wanted to start this journal to show, to share the technical innovations in printing that took place in his days, so in the early 19th century, they were numerous, with lithography, which, which was relatively young, and several other techniques. These two volumes contain the first six complete years of the magazine, started in 1834, and continued until 1919, when it became part of the Deutsche Buch und Steinbrucker. As said, it started in 1834 as quite a modest ma uh, magazine journal, only a few sheets a month, and printed in only 400 copies. That changed a couple of years later. In 1837, it is stated that we have 760 copies, and later on we find that it's printed in 850 copies, which is not a lot for such a magazine. Magazines are generally ephemeral publications. They're not meant to last. You read them and then you throw them away, which is exactly the case with this magazine. It wasn't printed on the best of papers because, again, it wasn't meant to last. And usually thrown away as the information in it became outdated. This set has survived the years as a complete, the text is complete of the first six years and it was bound at the time in a simple binding because usually items that were intended to throw away you don't give them a luxurious and rich binding. Here we have a 19th century half cloth binding with marbled boards. The interest of the journal lies mainly in its articles about novelties in printing, about new presses, basically all the news that could be of interest to people working in the business in the 19th century in Germany and abroad. Plates show presses, but also specimens of types by type founders uh, to show to their colleagues mostly what they were capable of doing. The type specimens are not just in black and white, but some of them are quite elaborate, like the one I've got here in red and consisting of a large, large folding plate. I'm not going to unfold it here, but it gives you an idea. And another thing is that the foundries present are not just the most important ones of the day, but many of the smaller ones that we've forgotten all about nowadays. And to me, the main interest, one of the main interests of this work is that it, you can find information in it that is absolutely unavailable elsewhere. Printing ink sample inserted as a whole booklet. Thank you for taking the time for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if there's any anything you'd like to know about this book, please don't hesitate to comment.